Well, the outsider is the one who obviously, his dynamic is very interesting because he doesn't have this ubiquitous extroversion. He's a person who is inner directed, not outer directed. Once, like we said, once you give up the right rulership of the self and once you give up the authentic life, mm-hmm. you then are absolutely dependent on, you're not a rebel, you're a conformist. You're, you know, you're dependent then on what George Bush and, and Blair say. Yeah. You're dependent on what society creates. You're, based, you're dependent on what the corporation penthouse guys are going to create for you. Mm-hmm. And they bring in more order, more cameras, more surveillance, more security, more this, more that, you know, more handrails. more. It's like a building that's going to be condemned. Yeah. It has to have the scaffolding put on it. It's like a rotten tooth. Every time you touch it, it's agonizing and it's wobbly. Mm. Well, the inauthentic man lives in a tower. Let's say he lives in this tower of Babylon, yeah. this ivory tower that's constantly wobbling because he didn't. It wasn't built on a straight foundation, Henry. Mm, yeah. So no matter how, what wind comes, you see the tower is always precariously moving back and forth and to and fro. It's very frightening to live in the realm of the ego. Yeah. Because no matter what addition you put or how you maneuver the furniture or how many more tiers you build onto that you know or how much embellishment the tower itself is teetering mm. and we are in that period now in civilized in the whole civilization is yeah. teetering yeah but the outsider is a person for one for one of many many reasons who will not medicate himself who will not run into this and who has chosen or has been guided by his higher guides because he's actually in touch with his higher guides uh, to live an authentic life. And I believe that, you know, through the divination arts, the work that I do, that, that turning on to astrology and to tarot and to these mirrors that show you the self, they, these are assisting people to get in touch. Yeah. Subjects of numerology. You see, looking into the mirrors, looking into to discover who and what we are through the pristine mirrors of our forefathers, whatever way that you come upon the authentic life, this is a person who, by definition, does not have the immense guilt complex that others do. Because remember, we said that the guilt complex comes out of living an inauthentic life. Mm. So if you're living an authentic life, you don't have a guilt complex, or you have a much lesser one. Yeah. And therefore, if you don't have a guilt complex, you're then not a, you're a person who doesn't have a lot of these other, uh, you know, uh, epidemics, these other diseases that, as I said, come off of this uh, hideous genealogical inverted tree of life yeah. that, you know, come from now you may that doesn't mean that you live in happiness or totally you know you're this very very supreme you have great joy because you're you're a person who's tuned into the matrix you the higher form yeah you're tuned in you're being guided by your higher guides mm-hmm. but you suffer the outsider henrik is one who suffers for other people mm-hmm. his problem comes from his empathy with those who are in the, in the sleep mm-hmm. so to understand this person he may not be necrotic or neurotic but unfortunately his trouble and if you get onto my blog, you keep seeing what I would consider outsiders commenting on my blog about the, the, the lives that they have to live and, yeah. and how difficult it is to share with their family and to share with people around them, you see? Yeah, sure. And all the people out there, I hope many of the people listening to this show, are outsiders, people who have not conformed or conform enough just behind a quiet mask so that you can obviously survive mm. because the system leaves you very little other choice. Mm. But they feel outsiders. They feel estranged and isolated and alienated. And why I try to get into this is because I want to explain to these people what their alienation is really born out of. Yeah. Your alienation is born with your identification and your empathy with the fallen, your brothers and sisters who are in this dumbed-down state. I call it the Hamlet complex, because if you read Hamlet properly, you will discover that his greatest malaise, his greatest NY, his greatest depression, was not from just having to deal with evil or pernicious people, it was from actually being in their presence. Hmm. Just, just the fact that he lived amongst them was enough to cause him enormous strain, strain in, his, in his mind. Yeah, yeah. So if you live in a sea of, of inauthentic souls, Henrik, mm-hmm. it will always smell bad to you. Hmm. And therefore you might bleed for the condition of others. Now, I stress that, you know, that authentic men, the outsiders, have to be very careful about this because if you don't know about this, it could drive you mad. Hmm. And I see a lot of this dementia creeping into the outsider's mind. The outsider must become detached from what he sees. He must become, you know, separate. It's because if he over empathizes or over sympathizes or tries to get in there and re hardwire the minds of people that he has no responsibility to do that, it can destroy him. Yeah. 
And this is very important, uh, Henry, for the, for the countdown to 2012, yeah. because you're going to see more and more dysfunction. Mm. You're going to see more and more inauthenticity and all of its offspring being created. Hmm. And I talked about this a little bit in the, in the presentation, but if people are not aware of what is happening, they're going to want to dive in there, you see, sacrificially almost, hmm. and give up their own precious lives or precious life energy to those people who are never going to change. Hmm. You know, so there needs to be a change in the mentality of the outsider, of the healer, of the teacher, mm -hmm. so that they become a little bit more detached so that they can preserve their own sanctity and their own uh, state, because you're not responsible for other people. It doesn't matter what other people do. It doesn't matter what other people think, say, or act towards you. Like we were talking about the meaning of enlightenment before. Yeah. That it's mm -hmm. not something to do with luminescence. It's something to do with lightness and weight. Yeah, this so is... it is with... 